Right, so to do these mated snake knot, you need two cords about eight feet long each. And what I did was I found the halfway point of each cord, got the halfway point, put it down through the buckle, and pulled them together to make two cow hitches. Okay, nice and easy. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this outside cord here, and we're gonna wrap it around this one. So get that cord, wrap it round, make a little loop like that. Now this inside cord is going to go behind this one, so it goes behind that one, and then the end is going to go down through that loop. Like that. And you end up with something like that. Okay, now we do exactly the same on the other side, but different. So we get the outside cord, the neon green. I'm gonna poke it, it's gonna go over this one and down through that loop there. Like that, and then this inside cord is gonna go behind the first cord and then the end is going to go down through that loop pull it all up so at the end you should have a this going on two snake knots okay and now all you do is tighten them up so I'm just doing the neon green pull it and pull it up to that cow's hitch there I'm doing the same on the OD green Pulling, pulling it together, and you should end up with something like that, and then you do it again. Right, so you might have noticed that I'm only using one buckle, so how do you know when to finish? Well, the simple answer is you wrap it round your wrist, sorry, wrap it round your wrist and where it joins up, where the other buckle would be, is where you end. So as you can see, I'm about halfway through the bracelet at the moment. Right, so as you can see, I've done the snip and singe here and here, and that's on the outside cords. I put them into the bracelet and now what we're going to do is attach the other buckle so I'm sorry if my fingers get in the way for this part but what we're going to do you put the cord down through the buckle like that it's going to go around behind the buckle back up through like that and then down through this loop like that don't pull it tight just kind of pull it up and that's a very loose cow's hitch I'm going to do the exactly the same on the other side down through the buckle it's going to go up through the middle around the back and this is where it can get a bit fiddly. And then it's gonna come back up through the buckle. And down through this loop, like that. And you have two very loose cow's hitches. What I need to do is get this buckle so it's squished down onto the actual weave like this not like that like that so what i need to do is take all the slack out so this is easier said than done and i'm sorry if my fingers get in the way i shall try and explain what i'm doing while i'm doing it okay so i'm going to push the bracelet up into the buckle like that i'm going to take the inside cords and pull them up 
and I'm going to follow those inside cords around the back of the buckle, the middle cords, and pull like that, and pull them right and tight so the buckle goes into the bracelet like that. And now I'm going to take the slack out and pull the outside cords, one on that side. You'll see it better on the neon green and one on that side. And so I'm nearly there. I've got to really pull tight on that carol's hitch. That OD green is there, that's good. And I'm gonna pull really tight on this neon green. And now I've got two nice and tight cow's hitches. I could do a little bit more but I'm just doing it to show you what to do. Now we get these cords and put them round the back. And what I'm going to do is snip and singe them into these bits here. I've left a big bubble. I don't know if you can see that. I've left a big bubble there. And now I'm gonna flatten it into the cord. push don't burn your fingers do the same on the other side right so that is a two color mated snake knot bracelet didn't come out too bad for a first try so uh, yeah YouTube would like you to watch that video over there I would like you to watch that playlist there give us a thumbs up if you haven't already and also subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.